Hi, man, Drop Strong, and welcome to the back office teardown lab. I was given this distance measurer. However, when I inspected it to give it a go, I discovered that the battery snap is dead. Now, I could possibly fix this just by going through that way. However, I thought, why don't we just have a quick look inside? I'm a bit curious. I can't imagine there's much in there other than the ultrasonic transducer, but you never know. It says laser radiation. I guess there's a little laser pointer in there. I don't know why the battery would have died like that. I don't think this is particularly old. It's just weird. You kind of think modern batteries really don't tend to leak, at least not in my experience. However, maybe it's just a particularly cheap battery and a cheap battery is not quite as modern as our current modern batteries, if you get me. If you get where I'm coming from. So, I think that should be getting to the point where it will start to slip apart. Yes, indeedy. So there is the transducer and the laser. There's the PCB. Now, I think we'll be a bit cautious because we don't want to just yoink off the PCB because it's connected to that screen. But I can see one thing there. You've got a couple of contacts there. I think it's a backlit screen, so that'll be the backlight. There's the buzzer. That'll certainly be the ribbon connection to the screen. I wonder what this guy pointing up is. Could it be a temperature sensor? But why would you want that? It doesn't seem like something you'd need on this. Membrane keyboard connector. 4 megahertz crystal, processor, everything is in there. And this is what we want to get to. So it does look like if we really want to get to it though, we're gonna have to go a bit deeper. So I'll throw caution to the wind and start removing that membrane connector. I do see another screw. Just move, make a bit of space on the bench for that. We're getting there. Oh, that's not too bad. It wasn't painful at all. You can see it's nothing on that side at all. All the all the uh, components are here, which is, makes sense. If you're assembling something, if you're designing something to be assembled as well, you really want to make sure that you're minimising the amount of effort somebody's going to do, because time equals money. So we've got our bag of replacements. And I completely forgot I bought a bag of these, but I'm really glad I did. It's probably just something I threw in an existing order from... Alibaba or something where it said, you know, do you want a bag of 20 <laughs> 9 volt snaps? And I was like, mm, yeah, why not? For a pound or something. It can go a lot worse. Just going to heat this up. I think the best way, looking at this, is to find some side cutters. Just cut that off there. Pull these through. Why do they put so much strain relief on these? They're expecting some seriously aggressive battery changing. Right, so clean that out. Let's free our owls, shall we? Oop, did I miss that one a bit? Yeah, you messed it up. Oh, that's been annoying. It's one of those ones that demands some extra attention. A bit of fresh solder. Just feeding the wires through. So this is the way it had it up and over. It's quite interesting really when you think about it. That sound, the ultrasound, has to really propagate out to where it's going and you've got to pick it back, you know, pick up the bounce. And these have been out for a while, haven't they? Many years. It makes you wonder, it has to be quite quick, doesn't it? I've never really looked into how these are, but I might have a look. I've got access to the Elector back catalogue, so I've got a membership, and it may well be that they've got an article or two on the subject. There. Well, that's good. Let's test it. Let's put a battery on it. Do we really need the keys? Probably. Way. 
Okay, well, it looks like it's got power. Oh, it does have a temperature thing on it. Pop it back in the case, trying to remember which screw it was we took out. I think it was the top one. No big deal. Now, you will notice, the observant among you will have noticed that the battery snap is crazy long. And it's kind of intentional and kind of laziness because I can see there's loads of room in this case to eat up that spare end if you want to. You know, I could just do that with it, so I'm not too bothered. In fact, I might just give it that little loop already. So I'm going to put this on. It's already thinking about being coiled up. And yeah, there's loads of room actually. We could have done that any time. That scores. Ooh, the moment of truth. Oh, it beeps. Ah, there is the laser. Can you see it? Look at that there. There's the laser. Measure, laser, memory, one, two, three, feet or meters, plus minus area volume, clear all. Oh, that's cool it does area and volume. That's kind of cute, but let's try the measure. Ooh. So it says about half a meter from me to the wall, which is, is probably true, but listen to this, I'm going to point at the microphone. You can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it at home, but it's like got a click, like a tick, 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 tick. And the fact you can hear the spacing between them means it's, it's, it takes its time. I mean, it's not like, brrr. wow. Okay, so there you go. Distance measurer, not much in them. Seems accurate enough. I mean, that's about, <laughs> if we're gonna go 300 to there. Yeah, I would say it was more like eh, 37, 37. Let's try one more time then. Just give me a measure. Not the temperature. It doesn't like it, does it? I wonder if it's just too close. Half a meter. It's like half a meter. That's what it loves. Anyway, there you go.